Hey guys, welcome back. JDS Outdoors, Jet Boat Build 2.0, episode number 11. Now today's video, I am going to get these hatches cut. I'm going to explain real quick how I marked those. Start skinning the, uh, um, the consoles in the boat. So, with this floor laid out on the, uh, on the deck supports, what I did is I crawled underneath and the opening of the hatches which is this inner line here I just traced the openings as the floor laid down with a sharpie and then I have one inch wide supports on each side so I took a half inch piece of a scrap aluminum right here that I had laying around and laid it down and traced all around the edges now except for the middle now this hatch is going to open this way and this hatch is going to open up that way all pivoting in the middle now to create the best uh, or the most room for the hinges I made it so that the rivet I'm going to rivet these hinges on so I want I don't want the rivets to go into the support because then you got to drill holes so I figured out where the best place to put the center cut line where there will still be an overlap so the hatch is still supported so that the rivets will not go through the supports and then I mark that and trace that so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out the hatches and start riveting down this deck so I got the hatches cut and I have uh, the floor riveted on so next step, I've uh, started cutting some of the skin for the consoles here, well one piece at least. And what I use to cut out the hatch is uh, just a regular skill saw. Normally I use just an angle grinder with a cutoff wheel on it. And I think I like that way better just because this gap is a little bit tighter. but. The skill saw was definitely a lot easier and you had less crap flying at your face. So, I don't know, they both work pretty good. And for cutting the sheets, I also uh, use the skill saw, which works really well. Um, and also use this nibbler made by Milwaukee. It just takes these little nibbles, these little chunks of aluminum out right there. That works really well for doing straight lines and somewhat of a curve, but not too much. So, front is uh, taking shape. Getting excited for uh, these consoles to be done, so I can start building the windshield and install the motor and whatnot. So, stay tuned. Console skinning is well underway. I got the top and the sides uh, tacked in place, and then I'm cutting the front sections right now. This one's cut, it's just loose. Will be tacked on here pretty quick. So, that's a look from uh, the front of the boat with a step down into the main captain's area, whatever you want to call it. So, looking flipping sweet. Well, got the fronts tacked in place. Also, Got the center put in right there for the step up. I still haven't blocked off that hole yet. Same with the one on the other side. But it's one of the next steps. Also got to add a little plate to the face going down right here on both sides. So I have a place to mount a uh, switch panel and radio and stuff. But looking sweet so I'm starting the framing for the windshield now I know this is gonna look kinda goofy but I promise there's a method to my madness so staying back here you can see the top it looks really tall in this photo or in this video but it's only three feet off the top of the gunnels so I don't know. It looks weird, but by the time I'm done, 
it'll fit and flow and you'll understand why it's so tall. But anyways, framing is started, just getting tacked in for the windshield. And once that's all built and tacked together, I'm going to do a final weld on all that, including the sheet metal. All right. Well, here's what it's looking like now. I got the, the windshield, or the windows, the front windows, framed in, and then the center walkthrough framed in. That's all going to be like one big door. So you'll be able to have that completely shut and have it be fairly weatherproof, you know, water-wise, but windproof, so you have a little compartment you can sit in. Now, my old smoker craft, I had a walk-through windshield, and it was similar to this, except for it was a lot not as tall, and I liked having, uh, I also had a, a either bimmy top, or however the hell you say it, the canvas top, and I really liked that, because it kept, uh, Kept more of the wind off me, the rain if it started raining, and also the sun from my dog. So that's kind of why I'm modeling this the way I am, is to keep uh, keep cruising in subpar conditions more comfortable. So that's what the front looks like. Looks like from the back. Looks like from the uh, driver's side. So it doesn't look all that much bigger than your uh, newer boats with the, the tall windshields on them that you spend $50,000 on. So I think it's looking pretty cool. Now we'll head to the inside. In the driver's seat, you got a pretty good field of vision looking through all the windows. So that'll be a window, a window there, a window there, here, and here. So your vision's really good sitting at uh, a comfortable height. Uh, now this driver's chair is going to get moved over a little bit, but I'll get to that point. And you got your walkthrough in the center to get up to the front. Now I, I know those gaps are a little ugly. I'll get those fixed and filled. But the center, you have to duck down a little bit to get over it. And the reason it's taller like that is because I'm going to mount that 52-inch LED light bar up top there. So that'll be permanent. You have to duck down underneath that, but it's going to be like flipping daylight at nighttime in front of you. These bars right here coming straight down from this top point and at an angle over here, straight down and up. This area up here is going to be like a little top compartment like you'd have in your, uh, your candy vans or whatever up top of the windshield you can put gloves or duck calls or shotgun ammo or whatever whatever up there that you would like and then off to the side I'm thinking over in this area to mount my speakers so it'll have uh, multi-purpose we'll see how it how it ends up but that's what it's looking like now and pretty soon here I'm gonna get this final welded over the next couple days and uh, install the U channel and then the Lux Lexan for the windows and then I got to build the front front uh, deal up there for the winch and the front deck for the front LED lights and then after that it's uh, onto the back getting this motor installed Getting that all wired in and then start building that back casting deck. So, if you like what you see, give a thumbs up. If you don't like what you see, thumbs down. Leave some comments if you'd like. Uh, yeah, curious to see what this turns into. Feel free to subscribe. And, as always, thanks for watching.